I'm going to tell you exactly who bought this product. Anybody who does repacks, I don't know, is there a guy on YouTube who does repacks for $700 named Alpha Investments? They bought this product to do repacks with. The repack market is strong. My distributor sells more mystery items, which are essentially just repacks, than anything else. At every Walmart, every Target, a lot of the inventory, as you can see, the shelf space is a good indicator of how often these products do sell. And the margins on a mystery product, for instance, I have the mystery Pokemon Cube box, the new one, it is just bulk. Like it literally is bulk and they sell it for $19.99. So the margin is almost like 100%. You might think, oh, mystery items are scams. Yes, they are. But you have to understand the majority of Magic players, Pokemon players, Yu-Gi-Oh players, the reason these mystery products are in every Target, every Walmart, on Amazon, on eBay, is because people do buy them. We are in a situation where, again, it is the silent majority versus the vocal minority. The vocal minority, I hate. They're so loud, they're so whiny, and they just complain about every single thing that happens. And, you know, hey, we hate this product. We blah, 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 blah. And then people go in Walmart and they buy it. <laughs> the casual players have never even watched a YouTube video about magic before. The casual players does not... They don't follow Mero or Aaron Forstead. They don't even know this product exists. They see on, oh, I have a chance to pull a Black Lotus. And then they buy the box with the expectation that they have a chance to pull a Black Lotus. I find it pretty sickening just the, you know, people don't understand from a business standpoint why somebody would buy this product. Because the guy who's saying that this product sucks, he has repacks where he doesn't even have a booster pack this valuable in his product. In his $700 product, where a lot of people have bought multiples of, where he sold out of that product, he never gave a single item bigger than this item today. So if you tell a Timmy, hey, for a $20 mystery box you could pull a black lotus which theoretically is true the timmy would absolutely buy the repack at walmart or target or cvs or walgreens the reason there are so many mystery items and mystery boxes and that the reason that pokey rev is always opening them and ruxin everybody is opening these magic mystery items <laughs> it's it's the gamble it's the gamble. If you're gambling, why does it matter if you're going to lose $100 or $1,000 or $10,000? It's all a gamble. Now, do I promote gambling? No, I think it is wrong. I think there has to be controls. In my, my, my own personal opinion, I set controls around my life to prevent me from gambling as much because I know I have a addiction. And when I'm addicted to something, I'm really into that something. Whatever, whatever it is, a gotcha game. Evolving cries, <laughs> uh, anything. My point is, you guys, like, when you get angry at something and you don't expand your horizons and you're always saying, oh, you're a lawyer, you're, you're always bashing me, an ad hominem attack. This is a very weak argument. It is. Legally, an ad hominem attack just tells me that you don't have an argument at all. If you want to debate this issue, I'm open to debate. We're going live streaming in a few hours. But no ad hominem tax. None. Okay. Um, I think my concern about this product is it has made people emotionally upset, but they cannot understand the logic. And if you can't understand the logic, you're still going to you're going to continue to be emotionally upset when people manipulate like Alpha Investment manipulates your logic. So it's fine when you buy a seven hundred dollar pin collection from him, but it is we got to burn down Wizard of the Coast. How dare they sell a two hundred and fifty dollar pack? Not understanding that. The packs got bought 
I know for a fact my distributor was very interested in this product. My distributor runs essentially all the South Walmarts and Targets. And they do a ton of business and mystery packs. To be able to say that the best pack they've ever been able to offer is a revised pack. And then they could say, oh, you could pull a dual land, right? The advertising for a revised pack is not as appealing as, oh, you can pull double Black Lotus. Even if that is statistically improbable to like the umpteenth degree, it is still possible. They're not lying to you. You could buy a mystery box with a mystery pack, and that mystery pack could have double Black Lotus in it. People are very confused, like, who's buying this product? Oh, is it a flipper? Is it... It would not shock me if whatnot. It would not shock me if Amazon. It would not shock me if Card Kingdom. It would not shock me if M and M and N Holdings. In fact, I know that one in particular. It's very excited about the pack for advertising purposes. It would not shock me at all. One of the most popular selling items on Amazon. One of the most popular selling items on eBay. One of the most popular selling items on whatnot. Just go on whatnot. Everyone's selling mystery repacks. In fact, Alpha Investments himself has sold mystery repacks recently for $700 a repack. You either have to condemn all repacks, which I do, or condemn, say, okay, some are a little bit better, but at the end of the day, it's a repack. This product will move very well, not in the way that you think. Everyone's like, oh, they're going to flip it in the secondary market. No, they're going to put it in mystery packs. The comments I'm reading just show an utter lack of understanding of what this product is. When you can put this product in a mystery box at Walmart for $19.99, again, it's not you. If you're watching this YouTube video, congratulations. You're not buying the product. The product is not for you. The product is for that casual player who may be interested in magic. Maybe it's a Christmas gift for somebody who loves Pokemon and they picked the wrong game. Hey, that's, there's a mystery pack. It's got, you know, Black Lotus on it. All right. So anyway, we can argue until like a lot of you are emotionally mad to the point that you don't see the logic behind this product. The logic behind the product is it was always made for big stores to buy it. It was always made for mystery packs. This product is going to be, it's going to be the highlight. You will soon see this product show up potentially at your Walmart. Like when they were doing the revised packs, the revised pack was actually like $300 at the time market price. This one's actually cheaper for them to do. Plus they can say, oh, pull a Black Lotus. If you go on whatnot, you know that this product will sell on whatnot because they do mystery packs all the time. They do mystery packs of mystery packs of mystery packs. So it's a box within a box within a box within a box within a pack within some cards. If you've ever seen Whatnot before and you go to Magic the Gathering, you know they have dice games. Backyard Breaks right now is playing dice games with their uh, subscribers or Patreons. They got wheels. They have, I mean, this product will sell on Whatnot like candy. This product will sell on Amazon in mystery packs like candy. This product will sell on Walmart, Target, Walgreens. The volume that your local tar Walmart or Target does compared to your local game store in terms of what it sells for Magic or Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh! is higher. And you might be like, how can that be? They have just such a small space because they have more traffic. They have more people. So even though a far fewer percentage of people are buying the product, they just have 10 100, 1,000 times more people coming in a day and just off, off on the off chance, oh, I used to play Magic. This looks like a fun product. Hey, I haven't played Magic in five years. Let me buy this product. Maybe I can get a Black Lotus. I know what that is. So anyway, um, hopefully we can talk about logic and not emotional. And I'm definitely not going to stand for ad hominem attacks on my own character anymore. That's the backyard breaks, what I've learned from them, Positivity Palace, is that, hey, that person doesn't belong on your channel anyway, because they're not going to do anything but add negativity to your life. 